Google Wear 3.1 has arrived and here is everything you need to know about all the latest changes. Everybody put your hands up, feel the beat tonight. The first key change is now you can edit videos. Once you generate a video with Vera 3.1, you can press the edit button on the video to insert a brand new prompt. You can use this to add new objects to the footage whilst keeping the same composition, characters, and environments. With this example here, I added a crowd behind the man, also added a dog to the shot as well, and you can see that the shot is exactly the same just with those new objects added in. Ingredients also play a larger role of Vera 3.1. You can upload to three image references, or known as ingredients, to combine different images together into one cohesive video. This is fantastic if you're trying to get a consistent character, but say you want to change the environment or change the clothes. All you have to do is get those images, upload them, and you can create a video with a text prompt with those references together. One of the most sought after features is trying to get more consistency with extend when it comes to video. Every video that comes out is only in eight seconds, but you can actually extend this further with Google Flow. With 3.1, when you extend, you'll find that the scene is much more consistent when it comes to having the same music in the background and even the same character voice and dialogue. Start and end frames also has a role to play with Google Vera 3.1 and this new update tries to focus on increasing the consistency between the first frame and the last frame, which gives you a lot more control over your footage. Here are just some examples where you start really close to something on the ground and zoom out to reveal the final shot. Using a tool like Google Nano Banana, which is also available through Google Flow, allows you to make those start and end frame edits. And then all you have to do is worry about the text prompt to fill the gap in the middle. So Google Vero 3.1 is a step forward when it comes to Vero in general. It gives you a lot more control in some features and a lot more consistency in others. There's obviously a long way to go as more features that we would like to see in the tool. But I think as a next step, this is pretty cool. Go jump into Google Flow to try Google Vero 3.1 right now.